Uè, la sua bellezza! Eh, ma qua, amica! Vieni, aiuto! 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 Melts in your mouth. Where's this cheese from? This is made in Reggio Emilia, Italy. This is what they call la testa, the head of the parmigiano, because Parmi it's the best. Listen, speaking of cheese, I always want to learn how to make the mozzarella. It's the best place in the world to make mozzarella. Now, I was taught by the master, so now together he and I will teach you. Let's, let's go make go. mozzarella. All yeah. right. This well, what's is what that? we call the curd. That's the, the curd? The curd is the milk fat, the butter, the rennet, the whey. And it comes made by polio, which is a pleasure because this is the hardest process. Oh, this feels nice. What am I doing here? Now, are you just stealing up the mozzarella curd? Oh, okay. Now, I spent, that's enough. Okay. We're going to take off this beautiful Bronx tap water. Okay. And we're going to put beautiful Bronx boiling water in. That's, that's 190 hot, degrees, my friend. You can't put your hand in there now. No, no, sure no, no, no. Yeah. Okay, now, like a witch's brew, okay. side to side. That's our palate. One, that's our palate. Two. Tabini. Oh, that's now, beautiful. You, I want you to feel the texture of this. You're not going to get burned. No. You, I know it needs a little hot water. Touch, I want you to feel. Oh, it feels nice. Yeah. Something very important is happening. Right. You see how we're pulling out those lumps? You see that shine? Yeah. That's good mozzarella, baby. Now, you see how it's coming down nice and slow? Okay. Just look at this beautiful face and look over there. You see how beautiful? Okay. Now, you and I are going to do the mozzarella stretch. The mozzarella stretch? Right. Is that like the twist by chubby your hand here. Boy, this is weird. This is like uh, fooling around with a boa constrictor. You're not twisting, baby. Let's go. I'm Big twisting. Chance. You I'm chubby 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 chubby. Watch how we make the mozzarella. This is what's important. Okay. This is the choke it, code. You cut your mozzarella. You should have a guy just to make the mozzarella. This takes all day. Okay, so now you see the face? Oh, how, see nice how beautiful. Smooth. You seal the mozzarella. The most important part is to seal the mozzarella. Be very gentle. Ah, right, don't touch the face. Oh, yeah. Don't touch the face. You Circle. <laughs> tuck. <laughs> tuck. I don't see you. Tuck one. Like so your this? fingers here. You gotta make love oh, to that cheese. Oh, make love to that cheese. Guy. Now we're gonna seal it. We're gonna seal it. Yep. And I'm gonna make you eat a wool. Have you wool? The wool? I'm not eating no wool. That's the best part, the tail. Hey, Go. I wonder. This is the wool. I wonder. You guys, this is a family <laughs> show. Yeah, it's family. <laughs> All right, now here's a book and genie. You guys ready? A twist and a pull, and there's your book and genie. Put your trencher together. That's what you call a book and genie. My father calls it book and genie di cardinale because the cardinal in Italy. We'll wow. get the best product. No. Thank you guys very much. <laughs> oh, my friend, you're always We're welcome. here at Mike's Deli, Arthur Avenue, in the Bronx. ArthurAvenue.com, don't forget. Next week, David's going to teach me how to make gabazelle. I'm here at Pete's Meat Market on Arthur Avenue, and this is some place. And you're Pete, huh? I'm Pete, yes. What's your last name, Pete? Savidio. Savidio. That's great. And these are lamb chops, you make them yourself? Oh, we certainly do. The restaurants I go to, they don't serve them like this. They oh. call them broken like a lamb. Uh -huh. And you never order duck in these restaurants, because if you say duck, everybody's under the table. <laughs> so you got a lot of variety of stuff. What is that? That's pinwheels. What it is is a flank steak. We butterfly it. We put a layer of prosciutto, layer of mozzarella, grated cheese, then we yeah, roll them up. And it's not like rajolas over there. We got pork rajol, beef rajol. You look like somebody. Joe I, Pesci. You're full of crap. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he says he looks like Joe Pesci. <laughs> How do you make your meatballs? You put a little cheese in there? A little cheese, a little fresh garlic, a little parsley, a little salt, a little pepper, uh -oh. three different kinds of meats. And later, Veal, what? beef, and pork. Really? And an egg for every pound of meat. Peter, what's the favorite meat that people come to buy here the most? Most of they buy veal cutlets. Veal cutlets. Yeah, veal cutlets. You can make it a lot of ways. You can make veal milanese. You can make veal parmesan. Veal parmesan. Veal Yeah, right, right. I understand. And what is this here? This is stuffed. That's stuffed pork chops. And how do you make that? Well, what is it? It's a double chops. We open in half. What we stuff with sausage meat. And this is prosciutto, what? Prosciutto. That's mozzarella. Mozzarella. Prosciutto, parsley, garlic, salt, and pepper. And you make oh. your own sausage. And we too. make our own sausage. We've got a variety of sausage hot, sweet, thin, chervelot, which is cheese and parsley, and even chicken. I mean, there's just uh, so much to choose from in the variety. See, I can't shop so here because my wife don't know how to cook and um. I don't know how to cook. She made chicken <laughs> last week, my old lady, right? Uh -huh. Who's making noise while she was cooking it? <laughs> <laughs> this is some place. Thank you. So, Ron, Frankie Jr., tell me about Rayo's. 
When did these uh, restaurants start? My grandfather opened this place in 1896. 1896. We think it's the we oldest. Look good for our age, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we think it's the oldest restaurant in America that hasn't moved and has only been owned by one family. That is so true. So we've been on this corner since 1896. Tell me about these meatballs. He does this every night, Dino? It's, it's an old family recipe uh -huh. uh, that uh, was handed down from grandmother to aunt. And my mother was involved in making, I think, coming up with the size originally. Right. Because my, my grandmother made little meatballs. Right. And my father's mother made big, very eggy meatballs. Is that right? And my mother put them together and made these softballs that we use now. Do you know, I came here to ask you about your meatballs. It's beef, pork, and veal? Right, combination beef, pork, and veal. Mostly equal, equal parts? Half beef, quarter pork, quarter veal. Right, and what else you put in uh, there? Chopped uh, garlic, right. parsley, salt, pepper. What kind of cheese are you putting in? Uh, pecorino. Pecorino. I smell it. Uh, how'd you make it so soft? Because, you know... Water. Water? Yes. With what? Breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. It's just the right temperature. They're not getting too hot. Yeah, just golden brown. We take them out, and then as the night goes on, we'll throw them in the sauce, finish cooking them off in the sauce. Nice. As the night goes on. You put sugar in it? No. No sugar? No sugar. Where do you get the sweetness from? It's from the tomatoes. A little olive oil, salt pork. Nice. They're not that round, you know what I mean? You could like flip them over. Yeah. Right temperature of the oil, flip them over the brown on very even. Tell me about the, uh, I see a lot of Rayo's products. The sauce, the pastas. We started with one jar of sauce. Now we have 10 sauces. Balsamic vinegar, pasta, marinades, dressings, olive oil. This is one of our sauces, the puntanesca. And there's our roasted peppers. We make the roasted peppers with the recipe that we use here in the restaurant, which right. is pignoli, nuts, and white raisins. We also make it with uh, uh, portobello mushroom. A couple of years ago, Frank Sr. Right. Uh, came out with the first of the Rayo's cookbooks, which has all the recipes that we serve here. Right. And followed up with another cookbook. Which is recipes from all the people who come from this neighborhood and their little secrets and their traditions that they have at home. And we'd like you to have a copy of both. Thank you. I'm a cookbook collector. Terrific. Being a, a chef author. and a cookbook author. And this is uh, something I will cherish. Thank you, guys. Oh, pleasure. Thank you. It's been Thank a you pleasure. Pleasure seeing you. It's one of my dreams come true being here. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. It's a pleasure Thank having you, you here.